All right. I'm in the middle of a mission here, and we're going to talk a little bit about collecting things. We're in the middle of a mission because this uh, idiot I'm talking to right now uh, got killed by a few people, so it's not, you know, good. Uh, regardless, he's going to be following me. And I think my best bet is to kind of lose him and find him, but, uh, we're... Okay, so first off, let's take a look at what Evie's wearing. New outfit, it's called the Aegis. It's a very lovely, uh, outfit there. I got it because I got the Secrets of London, and... Yeah, it's a pretty good reward for collecting all those secrets, which are really hard to find. They're little music boxes, and they unlock a vault, and you get this. But I wanted to talk a little bit about why, um, about collecting things, and why... How it, how it works, you know, uh, why we collect things in games. Uh, but first off, I've got to fight these guys. I'm going to leave him behind in the dust, so... Okay, so I have to take out all, all these guys. Okay, good. So, anyway, what he wants, I've defended him. Now, he's nervous about his bride. Okay, so I have to go. So, what he's doing is being an idiot, basically. I am now officially dead and have thus shed my fortune. So I pick up the body and throw the body in the tent. We shall see if she'll have me now. Come, we must dispose of my body. Find us a carriage to take us to the river. He's never met his future wife and he's nervous about her, so... Good work. How exciting. Yeah, he's kind of an idiot. This is like something out of a Anyway, uh, collectibles and games. So sometimes uh, the collectibles you get in games are actually quite good, like this uh, outfit. It's it's a probably it's pretty much the best outfit Evie can have. But oftentimes, um, what you get in games aren't that good. It's um, it's either something that's fairly good for a little while, but it doesn't have lasting power. It gives you a quick advantage if you're lower level, but if, once you get higher level, it's it's just a regular thing. Then you need to get rid of it. And sometimes it's completely worthless what you get, or it causes more problems than solutions. And I'm thinking of an earlier Assassin's Creed game where uh, what you get is a, uh, uh, well, you collect all the feathers, and it, it's kind of nice because you're doing it for your mother, it reminds her of your uh, dead brother, and it's, it's very sweet. But what you get out of it, if you collect all the feathers, is um, you get a uh, cape. And uh, if you wear the cape, it causes all your enemies around you to attack you. Which, yeah, can be advantageous, but for the most part is annoying. And so, why do we bother to collect things in video games? Is it for the uh, vague hope? So, I'm gonna get off here. I should Okay, first off, I am going to stop. I, I, I need to start stopping things. Let's see. Get the body. And... Alright. There he goes. Alright, now we have to go reach Bella. Okay, he's back in the carriage. Excellent. Now let us go and meet my fiance. I can't wait to see her response. I am totally not going on, <laughs> on this. That totally took off by itself. Cool. So... What, what drives us to collect things in video games? As if a great weight has been lifted from my shoulders. Yeah, he's, just, be sure. would you he's just faked his own death to see it if it's gonna, if he's gonna like his new future bride. It's, Don't you think that's a little risky? Uh, girls, just be careful about who you get engaged to. I'm just saying, if they fake their deaths to see if you like them, that might be more trouble than they're worth. So, yep. Come on, hurry up! This is taking far too long. We are like totally there, dude. Going the wrong. How am I going through? Okay. Now, okay, we're we're supposed to go. Ugh. So annoying. So. 
Well, we'll see what happens when he meets his future bride and declares that he's dead. Yes? My name is John Rokespiss. I'm afraid I have some terrible news for you. Oh? Your fiancé, John Hallam, was found dead in the River Thames this morning. Oh, how awful! Poor Mr. Hallam. I am at a loss at what to say to you, sir. You must forgive me. She is delightful. Why, I do believe I love her. I hope she's more intrigued than she is appalled. Okay, yeah, seriously. You couldn't have just met her first before faking your death. I'm just saying. It's crazy talk. Regardless. <clears throat> Gonna head out and talk about collectibles. Ooh, a thief to tackle. So, <clears throat> um, an, an interesting thing, at least it struck me at the time as interesting, it was a comment somebody made about uh, mysteries and somebody who was buying a, uh, a mystery, a murder mystery movie, uh, buying a copy of it on. on uh, DVD or tape or whatever, and the comment that was made about it was, what do you do? Do you just, you know, do you watch it again and pretend uh, that you don't know who did it? And I remember thinking, that is an incredibly shallow attitude. Um, speaking as someone who, who loves mysteries and has read and watched many mysteries multiple times, I've you know, I've read Murder on the Orient Express many, many times. Absolutely love the story, love the book. But, um, yeah, for me, it isn't, you know, so much trying to figure out who did it once I already know who, di who did it. It's more a question of enjoying the journey. I like, you know, how what it takes to get there. And that's pretty much the essence of um, collectors in video games. They play these video games, they collect things in video games because they like the journey. They like to do go through that process and collect things and have fun in that regard. I need to pick up some supplies. So that's kind of why, at least why in video games people collect things. At least that's my theory. That's the main reason. Yes, occasionally you get a really cool reward like this totally awesome Aegis Cape. You know, just looking at it, you got these weird little shimmers through it and stuff, which are fine, but you know, you think that'd make you better at inv is invisibility and stuff, but it's not listed as making you better, but I'm sure it does. I'm, I'm gonna say I'm almost positive it makes you more invisible, just because it has that weird shimmer thing. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. And I, th I think this uh, theory uh, carries over into uh, real life as well. Let's see, is there something close? Okay, I am going to head over and do a smuggler's boat. So, yeah, I, I think the theory also works in uh, real life as well for, you know, people who collect things in real life. Uh, because... You know, you go out, you go through a whole process of, of finding things and collecting things. I know on things, not just video games, but when I've collected things uh, in real life, uh, for example, you know, comic books, finding just the right comic book to complete this collection, or even just out-of-print books. I've collected plenty of those in my time. And, um, yeah, that's one of the, th the things that really that, at least for me, I th that worked uh, quite well, that I, you know, it was enjoyable going through the entire process. It was nice to have it once I had it, but but it, a lot of the fun was saving up my money, getting it right, doing going through that whole process, finding the unique things. Uh, it's just out of range. Finding those unique, cool things. And going from that room. Yeah, and just doing that part of the collection. Um, but, you know, just a quick warning about kind of the dangers of, of doing that sort of thing. Um, 
I'm invisible. You can't see me, I'm invisible. Ha. So, one of the dangers, I think, of doing it is that it's become an obsess. I mean, it, it takes a while. It, it does, it can take quite a while to, um, discover... Uh, to find all the collectibles in a video game, and in real life it can take a while too, but it, it can also quite easily become an obsession. It's... and that's not, just not healthy. So... my... So just that little warning, don't become too obsessed, don't become a, uh... uh, someone who will... uh, what are they called? You... you know those people who, uh... hoarders, yeah, don't hoard... hoard things because... That's just as bad, if not worse. Who's shooting at me? I don't think anybody. Right, so I'm going to go about the business of sabotaging. <laughs> so yes, just just be aware. Collect things. It, it's I think a good hobby, and it can be a lot of fun. But um, just just remember that. <laughs> things go boom. It, it can get dangerous, and... Whoa. Somebody after me? I don't think anybody's after me. <laughs> yeah, just... That's kind of the whole point. Collect, but be safe about it. And yeah, it's... If you're... If you have this massive obsession with making sure... Everything is... That you have to get every little thing in every single game... I don't think that's all too healthy. If you want to collect things just, you know, because they're fun to collect, that's that's one thing, but... Ooh. 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 Pretty cool looking, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the whole, whole thing. Collect, but do it safely. Safety and collection. And, yeah, kind of an explanation as to why we collect. So, and, yes, enjoy Eevee's awesome little outfit. So, yeah, that is just so cool. Anyway, uh, like and subscribe if you liked it, and I will see you in the next video. And, yeah, in a couple days, if all goes well, we will have Assassin's Creed Origins. And we can watch a little bit of Egypt running around. So yay!